Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 Minutes tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create doors that interact with our character, open and closes. We're gonna do it with actor blueprint. We're not gonna use level blueprint or any matinee, only use timeline in door actor blueprint. So we do it how it should be done. So let's delete this and let's create our uh, blueprint class actor and let's name it doors. Okay, let's save and open it and let's go back to the content browser. I have my starter content folder here and in props folder there are doors. So let's select it and in the doors blueprint let's add a component and since our um, door mesh is already selected we can have it here. So let's add it and we can see that a pivot point of our doors is where it should be. So when we change the, to rotation we can open these doors. We need to add a box collision. So let's add a component and add box collision. Uh, it is important that our box collision isn't a child of the doors, so it's an uh, independent uh, component. And now if we play, uh, press space bars, we can change from rotation or scale to location and we need to move this our location in the middle of the doors and also stretch it so it is bigger. Okay, let's go to the event graph and let's, um, with our box selected, let's go to the right side to the details panel and on the bottom there is on component begin overlap. We need this event, also we need on component and overlap. And now we need to cast to our third person character. So from other actor, we can drag the line and type third person character. So we are sure that our character is overlapping uh, with the doors so they open. N overlap actor, yeah, that's how it should be. Now we need to create our timeline, so let's type timeline, let's name it doors, and let's open it and add a float track. And with press right mouse button, add a um, key point and set it up to zero, and at one second also set up another another key point with value one. With this button we can zoom to the whole range and now let's select with left mouse button both of our points, press right mouse button on, on one of it and set it up to auto so we, had, we can have this nice easy in easy out curve. We have to set up the length of our uh, timeline to one and this is ready here. Let's go back to event graph and we can connect our uh, timeline to the uh, begin overlap to play and we need to get our doors so let's uh, um, drag it with control so we can get it and we need to set rotation of it we need to set relative rotation of it we need to set the z rotation so we split the rotation in three different flows and let's plug it here and now we need to uh, connect our track to uh, Z rotation. But now, first we need to multiply it. And because it's only one. So we create variable, let's name it angle, and let's set it up the angle to 90. So 1 times 90 is 90, so the doors will open in 90 degrees. We can make this variable, this variable public so we can change it in the level and also we need to connect the end overlap to the reverse. And let's go back and move, place our doors in the level. Yep, it does work. Also what we can do if we press Alt on the keyboard and drag the doors we can copy it and we can even change here maybe not 150 degrees so these doors were open at 90 and these doors were open at 180. Okay, we did it. We didn't use level blueprint, so you can use this uh, actor blueprint in any level of your game. We didn't use any matinee, only timeline in actor blueprint, so this is the proper way to do it. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.